Hello to all my DJ friends and new DJs that are coming into the world of DJing on a computer. Uh, virtual DJ is the way forward. I'm bound to get some comments from Tractor users and Serato users, but never mind. Let them get on with it. They'll get over it. It's personal preference. This is what I like to use. This is an amazing piece of software. And if only Stefan, uh, which is the guy that developed this software, was female, I'd move over there and marry him. That's how much joy this software has brought to my life. But unfortunately, he's a man, so that ain't going to happen. Anyway, um, let's move on. Uh, I'm going to move on to show you how to create a drop. Um, first things first is you need a microphone connected to your computer, uh, plugged into your sound card. Uh, either use the one on board if you've got one or an external sound card. Uh, the first thing you should need to do is go into, if you're going to use your voice, this applies to by the way, you would need to go into settings and at the top here where it says audio, uh, you need to go over to the input section and if you notice the one at the top there it's highlighted blue already on my machine you need to click that and what that will do is it will create a, an, an input for your for a microphone uh, automatically virtual DJ will detect that it's because uh, you've clicked the microphone icon it's put microphone as the input source it's selected the default sound card um, of where it thinks that the microphone is connected to. I mean, if for any reason you had more than one sound card connected, you just click on the drop down, select your sound card in here uh, that your microphone is connected to, and off you go. But mine is actually connected to this source here, this uh, onboard sound card um, on my laptop. So once you've done that, you just hit apply and then go up to uh, close a window. I think if you don't hit apply, it will just come up and ask you, do you want to save the changes? You just say yes to that. And we're back out to the main software now. So let's just zoom in on the mixer so we can, I can show you uh, along the top, you've got your, your mixer, your video, and your scratch panels, and your master uh, volume control panel and your master effects, there's all sorts going on in here. But the main area that you're gonna be focusing on to do your drop for your voice is gonna be the uh, record section uh, for the microphone. If you notice the first uh, part is the volume, you've got the on off switch for the microphone. Um, you've also got the uh, record button underneath. Ready to pair. Excuse me, that was my speaker talking to me, telling me it wants to pair to something, I don't know what. Anyway, so first things first, we need to do a check to make sure the microphone is actually being detected and picked up in the software, which it is. If I, if I tap my microphone, it's picking up the audio from it. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is make sure that you've got it switched on, which we have because we're doing the test. And then underneath that, you have a record button. Now, that would be what you need to click when you start to record your voice. So let's record something and uh, we'll go from there. So click on record. DJ format in the mix on virtual DJ radio. As soon as you finish recording your voice, click on the button again and it will stop recording and then what will happen is that your browser will automatically shoot down to sample and into the subfolder recordings and if you notice in there it's highlighted microphone one in brackets because there's already a mic recording in there it's the microphone one that we want to play with um, okay then the next thing you need to do, this is how I do it. Like I say, this is not to the rules. This is how I do it. I will drag it up into the deck 
like so. And there is a bit of silence at the start, but we'll go into that in a second. Once I've added everything I want, I want to add to it. So I now need to switch my speaker back on because I do a lot of stuff through headphones. And of course my phone won't pick up music, any sound through the headphones. You won't be able to hear it. So give me two Power seconds. Okay, so. We now have a sound. Okay, just switch off your microphone. Uh, I didn't tell you to do that, but when you actually stop the recording, also switch off the mic as well. Just so when you play it back, you you know you're not you're not you're not hearing your voice as well, which is what was just happening. Okay. Right, as you notice, it's it's loaded. It, I've loaded it up into the deck and I've set a cue point at where I want the sample to start from. So let's have a listen and see what it sounds like from there. DJ format in the mix on virtual DJ radio. Okay, it didn't start from a cue point. So let me just get rid of the cue point. I'm using the jog wheel on my controller to navigate to the start of the sample and I'm going to set a cue point. I've set a cue point one on it. So when I hit that now. DJ, 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 DJ as you, format. As you can see, it's still not in the right place. So let's move back to there and set, remove that cue point, and set a new cue, cue point. Now it should be right, let's have a listen. EJ format, EJ format, EJ format, in the mix. On. Right, okay, still not quite in the right place, so let's just move it back. set a cue point there okay let's try it now dj format in the mix on virtual dj radio dj 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 format in the mix okay so we've got the drop basically of what i wanted to say um what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add some effects to that so if we click on here I'm first going to add pitch. So if you notice, I selected pitch. If I now enable pitch, currently we've got it set off to the right. So I should go deeper in voice. Let's have a listen. DJ format in the mix on virtual DJ radio. Okay, you could, you know, you can play with this, 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 this pot as, and put it where you want it. So let's go the other way and see what it sounds like. DJ format in the mix on virtual DJ radio. So that's gone up in pitch. So obviously, I, you know, it's, it's a lot higher. Uh, let's leave it there. Okay, so I'm going to leave that effect enabled and on, and I'm going to layer another one on top of it. So I'm now going to go and add an echo to it and switch the echo on and just adjust it to where I want it to be and let's have a listen DJ okay so you heard that that's the pitch and the echo at the same time enabled on the on on the deck which has applied it to that track that's loaded in sample in the deck so i'm just going to add a third one to say you can you can put as many as you like on and uh play around to your heart's content really so let's add a flange as well and switch that on leave the settings where they are and let's have a listen so you get the idea so 
Okay, so once you've you've got it sounding how you'd like it to sound, um, we're gonna head back over to the mixer, but instead of being on the microphone side, we're now gonna be on the other side, which is on the left, uh, right hand side. No, left hand side. That's the right hand side. Okay, and we're gonna now basically record what's in deck one. So let's just pop back out. So, okay. So as I hit play on the deck, I've already set a cue point where exactly where I want it to start from. I've added my three effects and I'm gonna hit record just before I hit play. So, so click record. So record and then play. DJ DJ and then as soon as it finishes, hit stop. So I basically click on the record again and it will switch off. And again, it works very much like the microphone. It would have created a file in the browser, uh, in your sample folder, under subfolder, recording, recordings. And then you've got one in there that says master now, which means now if I listen to that, it should be the recording of everything. So let's have a listen. DJ 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 DJ. Okay, so it's recorded everything. All the effects have all been applied to that initial voice recording that we did. But you notice just the, the silence was still at the start. So how you can overcome that problem is, let's just zoom back out for a second. You can right click and go into sample editor on the file and pop back out again, move the camera and then zoom back in. And okay, so this is the, this is the completed file. So if I now just play it normally, I think it's that. Okay, so if you notice, there's a lot of silence at the start here. If you look down in the corners of the sample window, you've got these little blue anchors. I'm gonna leave the one at the end where it is, but the one at the start, I wanna trim away that silence. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab hold of it and I'm going to move it right to where it needs to be at the start of where I speak. Now what will happen when I trigger it, hopefully, so as you see, it's taken, the silence has been trimmed off. So I'm going to, I'm going to save that. So again, I'm going to go and change that name and I'm just going to call this, um, I'm not going to call it anything to it, let's just put some numbers there. Okay, so that's, you can name it to whatever. I would name it to something that is familiar to what the sample actually is. So, you know, name it to something you're going to know. So when you trigger it in the software, you can read what it says before you trigger it. And many times I've triggered samples where I've not named them and triggered the wrong ones. So don't do that. That's not, not, not very clever. Okay, you can adjust the, the gain of it as well. You can, you know, make it louder or quieter by moving the gain pot. You've got the modes down here. Uh, if you've got, you know, at the moment it's set to drop, but you could set it to loop. It just means that when you actually save that and you put that into the sampler uh, area of virtual, if you've got it saved as a loop, it will loop it over and over continuously, which can be useful, but for just drops, you just want it set to drop. So once you've basically renamed the file, 
you've set the gain level, you've trimmed it at the end there. You basically, all you need to do is click on save, which is the little icon on the uh, right hand side on the bottom of the window there. It's got a picture of a disc. I just zoom in so you guys can see. You just click on that and you'll get this message pop up. Do you want to save the changes, which we do. So I hit save. And if you notice now in the browser, again, in the same area that you're recording for your initial voice went initially, your mic recording, you should find in here one that says the file that I called it, which was one to seven. So you basically now have created your, your drop and it's ready for use. So let's just get rid of this antivirus software. Okay, so once you've created it, just give it a, another play uh, by clicking on it in the browser. DJ Format in the mix on virtual DJ radio. There you go, it's created it and the silence has been cut off, so it's, <clears throat> it's ready to go basically. I mean, if you drag that back up into the deck, it's being put back into the deck as a raw file. Even though all the uh, sound effects have stayed, you'll get the silence back again. But if you drag it over into the, where it should be going, which is over into this sample section uh, of virtual. So if I drag it into here, like so, that's it, we're done. That's, that's basically ready now. So I don't know if I, to give you a, a little play here what it sounds like with some music so let's just drag a file and drag that over into the deck so I've dragged my my record up there there's my drop number one so I'm gonna zoom back out okay so you can see everything now so let's hit play on here And now I'm going to hit the actual effect of the uh, sample we've created. And that's it. That's basically how you create a DJ drop in virtual DJ radio, ah, D virtual, uh, virtual DJ software. Um, like I say, this is an amazing bit of software and uh, I wouldn't swap this for a BMW, mate. It's brought me so much joy in my life. I hope that's helped, guys, anyway. And uh, I'll see you again on the next video. Any questions, feel free to ask. And I'll try and create a video to explain on how things are done. Again, thank you very much for your time. And I appreciate you all watching. And this is DJ Format signing out. Good night, everyone. Take care. And see you all again soon.